People think that cannabis is all about genetics. That's just one square of the chessboard. There's 64 squares on a chessboard in the big picture. And <laughs> genetics is only one of those squares. One of the even more important things that I believe happens with cannabis growing is memetics. M-E-M-E-T I-C-S Memetics. And memetics is kind of like genetics. Genetics is genetic information. Memetics is environmental information. So that means that everything that's happening in a grow room is environmental information. So the sacred farmer who's working in a grow room, the thoughts that that person thinks, how loving they are, how non-greedy they are, how patient they are, all those different thoughts that go through that farmer's head, that has a lot to do with influencing the plants in the grow room. Because it's not just temperature, it's not just lighting, it's not just airflow, it's thought flow. You gotta have the right thought flow when you're working with cannabis, otherwise you're not gonna be coming at it from the right direction. You gotta do it with your heart. You gotta use that heart ingredient, that's gotta be the first thing on your list when you're gonna start a grow room. I'm gonna use my heart to think about this. Because that's gotta be the first thing on your list if you wanna be successful, if you really wanna grow something that's delicious. One of the things I really like to do when I'm growing outdoor plants is kind of do the raised, raised pot method. Where like, I start the plant in, in that same pot, and then once it gets real root bound around the first week of August, I take it and pull it out, and it just totally stays together, the whole ball of soil in one piece, because there's so many roots in it. And then I put new soil about six to eight inches deep into the pot, and then I put the plant back in the same pot so that it goes above the top of the pot. And that way it makes these air roots come to the surface, which no matter how much it rains outside, it always stays dry in that part, getting enough air so it never gets too soggy. So I, I really recommend people that grow in pots outside to try this raised pot method. And Amsterdam is so wet that you get things like this. That's like this like really wicked mold that's grown on the outside of the stem. And one of the things I figured out to do with that stem rod, I call it, because I use a lot of colloidal silver myself all the time to keep my immune system high, I found out that I could use it on the plants too. But there's this silver cream that's just pure silver in like almost like a Vaseline type type of material, but it's organic, it's vegetable, it's not uh, petroleum. And if you put it on the stem, it stays there even if it rains. And so I tried it. I tried it on this on this stem rot, and it really totally stopped it. It totally stopped it from happening. One of the things I always do with plants is super cropping. It not only does it give a little bit of stress to the plant that makes it get stronger, but it increases the yield amazingly. And what you do is you just take this top stem and you pinch it and you bend it over. And as soon as you do that, you don't touch it. You just leave it be. And about three days goes by, and it starts to go back up again. It starts to, to, to correct itself. And then it ends up looking like that. And all the bottom branches in that, in that time period when it's bent over before it goes back up and becomes the top branch, all the side branches of the plant, they all start to 
go up because the top can't go up. It's prevented from going up for a while. So it puts these hormones into all the surrounding branches to become the main top. Seeing that cannabis makes these male bananas, sometimes these female buds, and when you look close to them, they look like a banana. And what that is, is a tiny bit of stress happening on the plant. And that stress makes the plant think, uh-oh, something's wrong. I gotta make sure that the species survives, even, me, even though me as an individual feels threatened, I gotta make sure that there's survival of the species. So what the cannabis plant does is make those male bananas so that it can make some seeds for the next generation to be successful because it feels like something's gonna happen to it, it's not gonna be so successful. There's another little male banana on a lavender. And you can see the seed next to that male banana there because when these things happen, you don't get very many seeds. It's not like it throws so much pollen and every plant in your room gets seeded. No, you get only a few. Like th that, that little banana there made that one seed next to it, or maybe in two seeds next to it, but that's about it. But when you take a plant, a female plant, and you take silver thiosulfate solution, and you spray that female plant with silver thiosulfate when it's vegging, and then once again when you put it into 12 hour flowering, you turn the female plant into a male, just like that. And that female plant only has YY chromosomes. It has no male chromosomes whatsoever in it. It is only doing what gets triggered by this silver thiosulfate solution. It, get, it's, it thinks that it's threatened. It thinks that it's going to die. So immediately it goes into making some male flowers to make some seeds for the next generation. And from this method, you can get amazing female seeds, just like the nicest, truest female seeds that you ever saw, within the easiest way of any ways that I've ever tried. You know, when I'm, when, when I'm taking these seeds out, you know, when I do it by hand a lot, because, because I end up getting that on my fingers. And then once I get that on my fingers, I, um, I rub it off and it makes really nice finger hash. I mean, that's one of my favorite things to smoke. I, I never have very much of it because I smoke it almost as fast as I can get it. And um, I recommend everybody try that when they're a manager and to save some of their scissor and finger hash and see what happens. But hash, hash on the whole is one of my favorite things in the world because that to me is the real medicine. Hash, because hash is the active part of the cannabis.